Hey there, everybody. This is Brendan with Common Motor, and we're going to show you um, this is a supplement video on using a torque wrench and torquing multiple fasteners in stages um, across you know, engine parts. In this example, we have our, our shop CB350 here, and we're going to torque down the uh, what would be the head studs or the head nuts here that hold the cylinder head together here and we have eight nuts here and they're all loose and they have to be not only torqued in a specific sequence or order they also have to be hitting a certain value but we don't hit that value right away we kind of stair step our way up to the value that we're going to get to now based on our, our honda service manual here which we have and the final torque value is going to be 13.2 foot pounds now, because our, our torque value is 13.2, which is our, what we're going to try to get to, uh, our 3H drive uh, torque wrench that we've used in the past is going to be too big of a wrench because its lowest value is 15 foot-pounds. Thus, we have to use a smaller torque wrench. And this is an inch-pound torque wrench. And we're going to convert inch-pounds to foot-pounds, or actually vice versa, foot-pounds to inch-pounds. Uh, by multiplying them by 12, uh, 12 inch pounds equals one foot pound. So in this case, 13.2 foot pounds will equal just over 158 inch pounds. So that's gonna be our, our target goal. And uh, the smaller wrench goes up to 200 inch pounds. So this is what we'll use for the torque value. Uh, but our very first go around of the bol bolts, we're gonna torque them at 100 inch pounds as a stage one and then we'll step up to the 158 as a second stage torquing now depending on what you're working on you might have to do three or four stage torquing just depending on how many bolts there are and how many how high the torque value is so if you have a cylinder head with like 20 bolts in it uh, it might be a three or four stage torquing process with each stage being you know 15 or 20 foot pounds apart from each other as you kind of stair step to that final value so let's jump in and look at the cylinder head up close and get this thing torqued. So we have our, our cylinder head here, uh, and let's talk about the torque sequence. Uh, typically on, on something like this, you, you always start in the middle of the, the part and then you work your way out to the perimeter in a crisscross fashion, uh, very much like putting a, a tire on a wheel on a car. According to the Honda service manual, our number one bolt we start with is right here. So this is number one, crisscross over here to number two, back to number three, number four, five, six, seven, eight. You see how it's a constant crisscross. So we're trying to bring the part down evenly uh, versus trying to go like straight across one direction, which can cause um, an uneven torquing and sealing of a gasket going that way. So let's start here with our first one. I have my uh, inch pound torque wrench set to 100 inch pounds using a nice six point socket. So I have a good grip on the the bolts, let me get in here and let's get a torque. Let's see the wrench click. All right, 100 there. Two. Three, four. I like to call them out as I'm doing them. Nope, oh, that's not. It's four. Where's five? Five is back here. My bad. Five is right here. Five. Six. Seven. And eight. All right. Stage one complete. Let's bump the wrench up. I'm going to go to the 158 now. And that'll be our second stage. Two. Come on. 
right, that is 160. That is 158 right there. All right, same sequence, starting here with number one again. Um, nice and smooth. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. And eight, right there. Okay, not quite quits yet. I'm gonna go back around one more time to make sure that there isn't a little bit of slack left in the bolts. Because sometimes as you do the torque, the part flexes and changes just a bit. Nice and slow. No, just, just a hair more it went, not too much. Now that's usually the case, it's just a hair more. Two. Three. I've had nothing for. Five. Six. Seven. And eight. That's it. Okay. That would officially be finished torquing again. Now, on an engine like this, you might, uh, after you run it for a couple hundred miles, come back and check it. See if things move. Sometimes they need a little retorque because uh, everything's aluminum and there's a lot of expansion and contraction with heat cycling. But that's just a quick, you know, overview of something that's a critical torque fastening with multiple fasteners and how you do it in a sequence and in stages so you get the even torque application uh, on the part.